it's time to get ready. As you can see, even though I'm out here vacationing in Las Vegas, I'm still getting it in. I'm getting ready. I'm focused. I'm on point. It's time to get squared away, bro. We all seen what's happening out here in this country right now. We're seeing these mass shootings that is occurring with children, elderly, women, disabled people. Our children are terrified right now. I'm going on, I'm going through my Facebook page and I'm seeing a lot of, lot of my female cousins, a lot of my yo, female friends I grew up with, a lot of females I know personally. They, they, they constantly saying that their children are terrified. Their children are terrified, which means that it's our children that are very afraid of even going outside. We got work to do, fellas. It's time to man the fuck up. All this divisiveness, all of these egos, all of y'all out there saying that ain't got nothing to do with me. Bullshit. It shouldn't even have to take for these mass shooters to occur for us to get our shit together. We should have been doing something for ourselves, for our families, for our communities a very long time ago. I've been emphasizing this ever since I started the Real Street Ministry by Abdullah. We constantly saying that our women don't want us. Despite the fact a lot of our women have illogical grievances when it comes to the disrespect and the unprotection that we provide to a good portion of our women, they're absolutely correct in that regard. And for the women that ain't rocking with us, stop focusing on them. We got to protect these babies out here. We got to organize, black folks. Yeah. If it ain't about organization in our communities, I don't want to hear shit about it. Yeah. If I don't see politicians out here every single day without it being election time, I don't want to hear your motherfucking mouth. Yeah. If I don't see brothers out here, out here for these children that's murdered in our streets, and out here for these women that's being snatched up on our streets, I don't want to see your ass nowhere else neither. Yeah. Our black lives matter, only matter when it comes to the police. What type of movement don't fight for the babies? What type of people don't fight for the children? It's insane that you can go into every single neighborhood in every big city in this country. You have all these young people lost, hopeless, ain't got a clue about life. But yet, you sorry ass men, you same men that are begging and demanding respect from your women, you don't do nothing to aid and guide these youngest. And you wonder why our children are responding or reacting or behaving the way that they do. Because we as men have refused to step up and do what is necessary to provide the proper protection, provision, leadership, guidance, and direction for our youngest. I'm 38 years old. If I could get out here with a bad back and all, if I could get out here with a little bit of health issues, if I could get out here and still get it in and, and train and motivate myself and again in the best possible shape that I possibly can, if I could get out here and still train and get myself ready so when that time comes, it's time to answer the call. Instead of being comfortable and saying, fuck that, that ain't got nothing to do with me. No, if I can do it, black man, you have no excuse into saying that you can't do it. No. It's time to get ready. And the time is now. Otherwise, you're going to see another mass shooting. You're going to see another young person get killed. You're going to see another hate crime. You're going to see these white supremacists and these rape racists get even more motivated to cause carnage across this land and you're going to see more of our children afraid to even live their life or go to school simply because they are afraid one of their own peers will go into the classroom or into a school with a fully automatic weapon and start shooting at and killing everybody when it comes to our babies, I don't play. As a father myself, 
I'm telling all you rapists, pedophiles, supremacists, and you mad shooters and terrorists something. You, you even come close to even thinking about touching mine, I would gladly do five life sentences, and I would gladly die to protect mine against any one of you bastards. Black man, you gotta have that same attitude. Fuck a gender war. I ain't got time to argue with no woman. Arguing with a woman has always been a waste of time for me. Forget going back and forth on these social media platforms. People are who they are. Let them live their life the way they gon' live it. If they don't want to get on, on the court with you, to hell with them. But when it comes to our children, we ain't got no choice but to stand up and do what's right for our children, brother. Once again, it should not have to take for a mass shooting for us to finally realize that now is the time that we gotta stand up and do what's right. No, what the Black Panthers left us off with back in the late 60s, we should have picked up the pieces. Because originally that's how the gangs were functioning. They were organized in that regard, but somehow we lost our way. And we know it's systematically programmed, but do we have to continue to go along with the program? No. Black man, we're going to have to take our respect back by force. Stop begging your woman to let you lead as a man. As a man, you should never allow a woman to let you or give you the permission to lead as a man. You take your respect back by force. You know you got these young men out here that are terrorizing the neighborhood. You got the 50 men of like-mindedness. You go into your neighborhood and you take that motherfucker back by force. I be damned as a grown man and as a military veteran. I will allow a young person or anybody to scare me to come to the hood. Trying to get ready. If you out of shape, get your ass in shape. If you drinking all day, throw away that fucking liquor and alcohol. You wanna get turned up and get lit and smoke all day? Fuck all that shit. Get your ass detox and get ready. Cause when the enemy is ready to go to war, you gonna be the first one he take out. But when you get yourself ready in advance, the enemy gonna have a difficult time taking you out, black man. Because he ain't gonna be able to directly pinpoint who to get. So in conclusion, I'm on vacation, but I'm still training. I'm on vacation, but I'm still filming. I'm on vacation, but I'm still networking. But I'm still building. Because when it comes to protecting and providing and leading our people, ain't no vacation for that. That's a 24 7, 365, including a leap year job. And if a mass shooting got to be a wake up call for us to get our shit together, then we've been messing up all along and we know we have. So, brother, get ready. The time is now. Do what you got to do to self improve. Because now it's time for us to get ready for war. And now it's the time that we really showed the true example of what it means to have true black manhood because our children are crying our children need us and we have to show them why our presence is wanted and needed because it absolutely is stand up black man do what's necessary to get yourself together first because the domino effect is you you stand tall you remain focused and disciplined then your women and children ain't got no choice but to go along with your program because naturally you are the leader. Peace and love. Let's get it together, brother. 100. Black child, your race needs you. 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 All power to the people. All power to the people.